Here I am, number 56, and unless I'm forgetting something incredibly obvious, this is going to be the last one. And I think I called it a few a few videos ago. I think I said, you know what, I think there's going to be about 56 of these. That's my guess. Um, don't know if I actually said it, though. Yes, Geralt. I was thinking it, I swear. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Well, we did. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, elder blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. If you say so. <laughs> Ran into someone at your lab. Did you know? Mm -hmm. A she-elf. Claimed you hate Ciri. So how's that fit you trying to protect her, whatever the cost? Not at all. You don't really expect me to confess my feelings to you, do you? You're an asshole, buddy. Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the Elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Aridin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others? Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skelliger looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. Alright, let's do it. We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Fleet. As legend has it, she never used the stone and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. Roger, Roger. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. DLC done. In that case, I just realized go. I didn't do some of the DLC quests, actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> At least I don't think. As far as I know, right? Maybe I did. I just know that there's three quests added through DLC that, well, too late now. I don't want to stop here and do DLC quests. But who knows, like I said, maybe I did do them. On the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. Doesn't look like it. Really? Seems to me you'd started already. We were discussing questions of a magic nature. Nothing of great interest to you. Right. Because I'm just a simple witcher. Don't worry. Simplicity has a charm all its own. You were about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nargle Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Nargle the must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry <laughs> Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it, with your help, naturally. What about you? Where will you be? Waiting in reserve. If something goes wrong, I shall react. Hmm. Like a general commanding troops from a hilltop? Gonna signal us by horn or use messengers? Exquisite irony, but what did I do to deserve it? Have I given you cause to doubt my intentions? Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Thanks. How oh, nice. Siri! Plan's missing one important element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait. At a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Doubt that'll happen. What happened last time at Kiermore when she was supposed to wait from a distance? Wild guess. Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. don't have the right to order her around. Amusing. Zirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. <laughs> I, 
I do, in fact, have this right. For only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms or not at all. Tyrell recognized the strength of my argument. I have no doubt you will do the same. Give me that Sunstone. I'll snap it in half. Let's bet on that doing Cyril, it. Tyrell, do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The elder blood can be fiery. <laughs> Push as a guard. Telling Siri she can't do something is counterproductive. Speaking from experience there. Ultimately she does what she wants. Let us hope. Pardon me? Never mind. Let us hope she does what she wants. All right. If you wish to do something, guess we'll find the meaning of that soon. Or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats, amongst the soldiers. Is this the Yennefer music playing right now? Probably. Yen, why are you here? To see you. Something happened? Not yet, but it might soon. We may not survive this. In fact, our chances are slim. We've come a long way, and I'll be damned if we've come to fail. It'll be all right. I admire your optimism. Wish I shared it. Listen to me. Once it's over, if we survive, I wish to leave, go far away, and I'd like you to come with me. Where? Wherever. To Povis, beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society. You? Dropping plots and politics for good? You're in your element in that world. It's your life. Time to start anew. I'll believe it when I see it. Even now you're up to your neck in it. Yes, but only to set matters straight. To be able to withdraw having retained the upper hand. What then? A small secluded hut with a flower garden to tend to? Why not, if that is what you dream of? We shall leave together. Go where we please. Do whatever strikes our fancy. So? Coming with? I'd go anywhere with you. The answer I was hoping for. Go, Geralt. Avalak awaits. All right. And don't get killed, Witcher. Don't get killed, Witcher. Okay, I'll do that. Hopefully, it'd be pretty lame if I'm like level freaking fifty-one or whatever the hell right now, and I get killed by a bunch of nerds. Who are supposed to be like level thirty. And a word, and a word. Let's go ahead and take a quick gander. Gander, I have in my inventory. Uh, drop that on there. Vinegar. Bleah. I haven't used like any potions this entire time, but might as well. White honey clears toxicity. Mm. Uh, let's go with that one. And. Enhanced Thunderbolt. I, 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 I. Um, 60% vitality, okay. And then I should probably actually use the white honey. Have that on deck in case I need to get rid of my toxicity. I think I used one potion. I think I used the Thunderbolt potion once to fight a golem. I do believe that was it. That was in like the sixth one or fifth one or something. <clears throat> I assumed that I'd need to because I think in the I think in the description for one of the like the highest difficulty in Witcher Two, I think it's like you better be using your potions if you're gonna play this difficulty. Anyways, ready? Let's do it. 
Let's get these bastards. With pleasure, Geralt. With pleasure. What's that? Little mouth contortion there. Cutscene. I give you my heart. What kind of spell is that? It's an old love letter. Ancient. As I said, this stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. Never thought I'd say anything of the sort to Eredin. En verilith sirenard, Ada eich blame, I may. And here we they approach. Go. Break a sword. Old G Man sailing in with the Nilf Guardians. Oh man. It's a trap. Hey, that guy. Silence. It's completely still. It's a trap. We must flee now. Not this time. No, see there. You are not ready. You do not control your powers. I'll manage. Silly. Get out of my way. Silly. <laughs> the ice. It's a spell. You must find the mage who cast it. Why are these cutscenes so quiet? I'll not stop with his stuff. There you go. Finally, the guy's letting her do what she wants. I'll not stop with his stuff. This is about to be so sick. Siri's gonna get fire here in a second. She's gonna be some serious next level stuff right here. This is like the second coolest part in the game. Look at that, she's glowing with friggin' fury. Look at this. Kidding me? Kidney is ridiculous. Yeah. 
just keep fighting these guys just because just because you can oh man one hit one hit one hit who doesn't get a one hit bro that's right oh man oh, thankfully not siri it's like a hit there <laughs> Look at that. Whoa, who do we got here? We got the staff boy. Current here. Oh, this guy's teleporting around like Imbarith did. Imbarith. Oh no, Siri. Almost, Sira. Almost. Haha. <laughs> Dummy. Scarfyard. Oh. What's gonna happen? Remember when Gerald got frozen before I'd care more him? Listen to this music. That music means someone's about to get it. Large. So be it. Let us end this. Gonna dish it out. Gonna dish it out. Pow. Pow. Got shooting bullets? Oh my oh, god. Oh, god. I don't remember getting hit by those last time. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Where is he? You cannot win, even should you kill me. There we go. Holy crap, that was scary. Let's see the bullet attacks. <laughs> Cheap 
trick. Can't say that Geralt didn't use a couple of those when he faced off against Imlarith, though. Okay, full health. Okay, now let's put some friggin' food items on here. Some of that honey. Why wasn't why wasn't this of these some of these potions available during the fight? That was weird. See, look at that. I should have a fourth thing equipped, and I don't. Well, I have no explanation for that. Either way, time to get to the surface and fight some more wild hunters. Guy took us a long way down. Holy smokes! For some reason, they make you play that part. I think it'd just be like a little cutscene, Geralt swimming back up. Maybe it gives you a chance to do what I did and equip items. Why'd she teleport herself to a different block of ice? Oh, snap! Some Lord of the Rings horns sounding in the background. <laughs> I've something to tell you, but I'll do so afterwards. As you expire. Go on. 
This guy's really fascinated with his own story. Throws me through friggin' portals. It's like a Legend of Zelda boss fight. Oh, forgot about that. Do something. Oh man. Finally landed a hit. There goes my attack bonus of 60%. bonus again. You get the double kick too. <laughs> I want to go for this freaking overhead thing, but I forgot that this happens. Trying to go for this. There we go. <laughs> I wanted that for the last hit. <laughs> Ooh. He's dancing. Don't believe him. Put a story through his head. Perfect. 
Perfect timing, perfect. Have Karim, what's that? Lesser glyph of Ard? What? Eh? I thought you knew. All I know is Avalok might have betrayed us. What the? That a storm? Geralt, look! This far. Damn it! That ship's about to disintegrate. I don't know. Oh, what the Go. frick? Did not mean to do that. Saw the name of the quest. Hounds of the Hunt? What are they doing out here? Not much anymore. Anyways, time ago, like in number 28, I think, or 27, something around there. I said, don't forget about that tower, and here we are. This was the quest where I had to talk to, what's his face, Yalmar, and he was coming here to fight the ice giant, and uh, yeah, as I was up on this cliff fighting the harpies, and I was looking for him, then uh, yeah, passed right by this. The first time I went ahead and walked over there because I was like, yo, that's a sick tower. Like, there's got to be something cool in there. Got to be some sweet loot. Um, so then I discovered the fast travel marker, which is right up there. And I guess I won't this time because the cutscene starts Damn. to play early. Avalok surrounded the tower with a magic barricade. Can you dismantle it? Dismantle? No, I can make a tear at best. But only for a moment because there's no... Specifics, Yen. Will we both get through?
All right, I'll have a lock. You're going down, son. You're going down. You think you can just take Siri like that and make explosions? Fly right, fly across the sky? Nah, bruh, nah. That's not gonna fly in Geralt's land. It's not gonna fly when Geralt's got two swords. He knows what's up. Think I'm gonna fall for that? No chance, you're wrong. Trusted you once, won't make that mistake again. I am not your foe. I am merely helping Cirilla. I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. Because I aim to enter it. me of your plans. I'm sorry, I know I should have. But I feared you'd not understand. <sighs> Feels like I'm talking to Yennefer. Leave with me, please. I will go. Once I emerge from the tower. If I emerge. Why the hell would you do this? The Wild Hunt's been defeated. The White Frost has not. bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. If Lean's prophecy is drivel, destruction is not our fate. You have seen the future, don't you remember? Entropy cannot be stopped. The worlds will freeze one after the other. All life will perish. Avalark is right. If I do nothing, humans, elves, all will face destruction. There's gotta be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it.
The gentleman will follow. What do those poor elves ever do to them? Captain! Report. The Novigrad delegation is half a day's travel from here. Well, they truly are Russian. Return What's to your post. Novigrad's yes, sir. What of him? Will he get his will earned rest or be sent straight to Dan Rua? At his age, the journey is ill advised and costly. His Imperial Majesty is Dathwin Adden in Khan at Morford. Enough. Speak. Siri is dead. How did it happen? The white cold. They're familiar with the prophecy. Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north, provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Plenty of work for witchers after a war. I'll travel east, maybe north. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? She regretted not getting a chance to say goodbye. Did she tell you this? Really? Didn't have to. She wanted to make peace. I know that. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. That's not sad, I don't know what is, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute my mic for the rest of this. Need help with your wagon? I think we'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, you betcha. We'll manage. True, the barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Change is coming. True, no denying it. Nilfgaard flees, yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Left their wine behind too. That's generous. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where you headed? Nearest inn by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nilfgaardians. You take care now. Come on.
Master Ort. <sighs> Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsmen of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, had my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm hmm Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a Strigger's prowl in the Maribor Forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Uh, these are the dwarves from uh, the episode Snow White and the Seven Dwarves where I found Ciri and uh, she was in a hut with some dwarves. Footprints. A dwarves. your trip smooth sailing he's still on about that leaky tub from the isle of mist <sighs> you're lucky you and that lass weren't in it with us you'd not have fit anyhow we we're so laid in that boat we barely made land and it reeked of fish manure you stole my boat borrowed we knew it was yours still is you don't think we'd do that to a mate like you? Plow you soapless while you slept off a bender. Uh, hmm? Oh, that's good. <laughs> so, gonna give me my boat back? Why in the God's names would you need a boat in this brush? Fair enough. Forget I said anything. How'd you wind up here? Our affairs brought us here. Hard times, you know. Got to earn the coin where you can. Folk around here need surveyors? We've shifted our efforts. Investors, now. Investors. They've come for us. Hide! Huh? What's going on? You've not seen us? 
Where are the dwarves? Dwarves? Do not play games with me, Richard. They are thieves. They stole Lord Dagborg's golden chalice. Dagborg? Who's that? The new governor of these lands. The chalice must be found. Tell us what you know, or you will force us to extract it. That a threat? The Witcher will not cooperate. Take him. Oh, thank you for that, Witcher. I told the lads back then you're a good fella, and we shouldn't have took your boat. Heard you've gone into investments. Asset management. Aye, aye. Investments in movable assets. Well, these days you just never know when... That extra gold chalice could come in handy. I get it. What did you do with it? Uh, we don't have it. I found a buyer. Mr. Mirrorly, was it? A funny name. Paid good coin, though. We'd share it with you, we would, but but you look like one who just frown in any proceeds from theft. Aye, you got that righteous frown on you, definitely. Won't say no to friends. Actually, I'll gladly take some of that coin. Witcher's ethics. <coughs> World's going to shite. At least we nicked his dinghy. Come on. I will come back for you, I promise. This is the inn where I first met with Vesemir at the start of the game. So thought I'd throw that out there. Cool little detail, I guess. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. <laughs> You've been busy. It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Oh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. <laughs> Let's try it out then. Isn't that special? I just got the achievements, walked to the path, and ran the gauntlet. I'm assuming those are for. War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Death march. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all the danger. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded. 
Restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, the Marians got their country back. And history, once again, proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, the year of Valdemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellige bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rihanna, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. Well, wasn't that great? I loved it. The whole point of the series was pretty much for me to show the game that I started playing back in October and had tons of fun with, and everyone I've talked to who's played this game hasn't beaten it, and it surprised me so many times. Like, the six people who I talked to over the years who, like, all said, Oh, you'd love this game. Oh, this game's great. This game's really cool. Whatever. After I'd finally beaten it, or after I'd finally been playing it, I was saying, like, what part did you get to? Where are you at? And the people who I'd heard about it from months ago, when I talked to them about it, they hadn't beaten it. I was so surprised, because I think this game's so great, so... Who knows, maybe this inspired at least one person, or no people, whatever. I still enjoyed putting the videos up for my own, you know, my own happiness, I guess. Um, but, who knows, maybe it turned someone on to it, or at least gave it a fair shake and I think this game deserves at least that it's one of my favorite games of this current decade and who knows it may end up being my favorite one at the end of it um I guess I'll only know by the time 2020 comes around so not for a while still lots that can dethrone it but for right now it's definitely one of my favorite games one of my favorite series for sure and I guess big things to CD Projekt Red for making this sick ass game and I'd love to let their credits play but uh I only got so many gigs to upload, you know? Uh, the longer this goes, the longer my video is. So, unfortunately, shout out to all these people, but gotta skip it and uh, cut this. So, thanks to anyone who watched. If you honestly watched this, then, you know, you're a beast, you're a baller, all that. And uh, now here we are. The story of Geralt of Rivia has come to a close. You can continue traveling the world in search of Witcher contracts and adventure, but everything will be as if it was before the game's last chapter, and quests tied to the main storyline will no longer be available. You've unlocked the ability to start a new game plus. To do so, create a new game, start a new game, choose the new game plus option, and select the save you created to import your character. Only saves created after unlocking new game plus option can be used for this purpose. So that's that. That was The Witcher 3 Death March. Um, it's about... My first run was about 70 hours I put into it. This one was about 94 or something like that. And there's still so much that I did and I was skipping on. Because at the end of the day, I was making these videos. And I didn't want to have 150 of these. Because I didn't want this to run until like April or something like that. I still wanted it to finish in a you know, fairly, in a fairly reasonable amount of time. So I wanted to include... Some, like the main story, the DLC, and then some of my favorite side quests. 
Um, I'm definitely going to be playing this game for a third time, and that time will be way more slow. I'm actually going to be able to explore all the different corners. Uh, you know, I want to uncover the entire map, not have a thing hidden, not pass a single contract, not pass a single side quest. And hopefully I can import my Witcher 2 save successfully this time because that obviously screwed up this time since I missed out on a few opportunities which are only present if you do the Witcher, uh, you make certain choices in the Witcher 2 that affect this game. But that's enough of me rambling. Um, likes, comments, always appreciated. Till next time, bye for now.